Hi friends, it's Miss Heather again. How are you today? So nice to be able to read to you. I wish I could actually meet you, but I'm excited I can do this for you um, in the meantime. So friends, today I wanted to read a story that is a really perfect story for this time right now, but also for any time, okay? Because one of the things we can always do, no matter if we are staying inside or if we're playing outside or if school is open or school is closed or wherever we are, we can always use our imaginations. So this book is called Not a Box, okay? Not a Box, and it's by the authors Antoinette Portis and she is also the illustrator, okay? And if you noticed, there is a special silver sticker right there. And it actually is a sticker that shows that this wonderful book received an award. It was just that good for kids. And it actually received a Theodore Seuss Geisel Honor Award. So if you see, there's a picture of a man right there. and you probably have heard of or read or listened to Dr. Seuss books. Well, Dr. Seuss, his real name was Theodore Geisel and he wrote lots of books like Cat in the Hat and Green Eggs and Ham and 10 Apples Up on Top um, that helped children to read. I know I read them when I was a little girl and I still have them and read them with my own children or did when they were little and were learning how to read. So this means this is an extra good book for kids. There's not a lot of words. So I want you to use your imagination while I read it to you. Okay, so if you take a look, what do you guess this book is about? Can you predict? That means like, think about what might happen. What are your ideas about what this book is going to be about? It doesn't have to be right. But just the idea of guessing gets your brain going. Okay, friends? So check it out. Hmm. Here's the box. Here's this little guy. Oh, I wonder. Okay, before we start, let's take our one deep breath. Put your hands on your bony ribs. Or today, I'm going to imagine a ball that gets bigger and gets smaller. And as I breathe in through my nose, um, I'm going to make the ball get bigger. And I breathe out through my Mouth, it's going to get smaller. Are you ready? Here we go. And even that one big deep breath can calm your heart, your body, and your mind when you're ready for a story. Not a box. Hmm. a clue right there. Oh, right there. This little guy saw the box and now he's dragging the box somewhere. He hasn't even started the story. Here's the title page, not a box. Those are some clues before the story even started. Here's the dedication page to children everywhere sitting in cardboard boxes. That's who Antoinette devoted dedicated the story to. Why are you sitting in a box? And the rabbit says, it's not a box. What is it, friend? What are you doing on top of that box? It's not a box. Why are you squirting a box? Can you guess what the bunny's going to say? I said, it's not a box.
Now you're wearing a box? This is not a box. Are you still standing around in that box? Ready? It's not, 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 not a box. Look at all the things it is. Pirate ship, hot air balloon, tugboat, an elephant. Well, what is it then? Hmm. She has to think about that for a moment. It's my not a box. through the story really fast with my minute I have left with you and notice a few things. Okay, friends, if you want. Okay, so if you notice here, this writing is sort of slanted. That's the person who's actually talking to the bunny, okay? And the box is just black. But when the bunny now is talking, the letters are straight up and down, so we can tell it's a different person who's talking, or a different animal, I should say. And then the imagination of the bunny is shown with the red. Okay, there it is. Okay, so you can see that's a race car in his imagination, which is just as real as anything, honestly. Same thing. The slanted writing is the person, and what the person sees it's just black. And then when Bunny answers, the letters are up and down and what he's imagining is in red. That's what he sees in his mind. It's pretty cool. I love it. So the lesson in this story is you can really create anything with your imagination. If you don't have a big cardboard box and those are super fun, it could be a laundry basket. It could be a small box that you can imagine is something else and pretend with. Um, it could be a pillow. It could be, um, if I'm looking around our room, I, we could be towels that could be capes. It could be, if it's okay, with the big people who care about you, it could be pots and pans that are drums, okay, as long as it's safe, okay? All right, friends, I love this book. Have a wonderful day, okay, and I'll read to you soon. Bye-bye.